But how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. So I'm about to make me some baked beans. And I like to add some stuff to it. You know, get creative with it. And these are fully cooked. They are Earl Campbell's uh, pot links. I wanted something smoked, but they didn't have it uh, in stock. Uh, but that's all right because I usually use a hickory smoked or a applewood uh, smoked bacon as well. And I like to brown these up because I think it gives them a whole different flavor when you do it. And I'm going to put a little onion powder on there. Now, normally I chop up some onions to, uh, you know, put on top of my beans or have me a green onion. But I made some homemade potato salad earlier and it's got plenty of onions in it. I'm going to add some black pepper. And back here is my pot with the bacon in it. Uh, I don't want it hard. I want it cooked. Uh, but I don't want it real crispy and it, it will continue to cook more in the beans uh, release more of that flavor and I got a little bit of oil in there so this particular uh, one can of beans has uh, bacon and brown sugar in it now this is good brown beans but my favorite uh, baked beans are B&M baked beans you can't hardly get them in the south. Uh, you can get them up north. They usually are sold in a brown jar. And they are the original Boston baked beans. They they have been around since 1847. And they're made with uh, the pea navy beans, the small beans. And, uh, you know, they put a little salt pork in there. And they're still made the traditional way in brick, uh, big brick ovens. Brick oven baked beans. Traditional. I mean, there's nothing like them. But this is a good brand. And, uh, you know, you can add you can add more stuff to it. Like, you can add more brown sugar. I'm adding more bacon. Uh, you can add a little uh, black strap molasses to it if you want. Uh, in some states in the south, like in the Carolinas, uh, they will put uh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. Oh, boy. Uh, they will put barbecue sauce in their baked beans. Right? They'll make trays of them. Take them to uh, outings. Also, they'll put barbecue sauce in uh, their coleslaw. Don't knock it till you try it. Matter of fact, in, in North Carolina, uh, you can get it right in the Walmart's deli. Coleslaw, uh, barbecue coleslaw uh, and barbecue uh, baked beans. So these are about ready. And I'm going to add them to that pot right there. Add my beans and give it all a good stir. And I'm going to cook them right in that pot. Can you cook it in an enamel pot? You sure can. Up to 500 degrees. And if you're going to a, out in a family get together, picnic, you can keep them right in this container. Wrap it up. Keep that lid on there with plastic wrap. And you can reheat them over a campfire like embers, uh, suspended up above uh, the heat uh, but they're good cold too right uh, now one thing I never cared for but really comes in handy if you're going to a picnic bring you a can and don't forget the can opener of pork and beans my mother used to eat those right out of the can they're different because pork and beans has tomato sauce in it and they're usually a whole lot sweeter and, but they're great to take to picnics because you can just take the can and open it up right there. They're good cold. Okay, so I'm going to swap this over. Then I'm going to put it in the oven at about 350, 400, and let it go for about a half an hour. Stir it a couple times. Wait till everything's bubbly and it's blended up and it's going to be good. Well, thanks for stopping in. Free thumbs up. Uh, for your comments, large or small, I appreciate them all. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.